Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're going to be working on a 33-3 window. And in the last video you saw where we were mounting up the steering box and kind of working on figuring out where the pedals might be. So forget everything you saw. Everything. Totally throw it away and we're starting over uh, with all that stuff, unfortunately. So um, off camera for the past like day, I was kind of working on let, let's get the engine kind of sitting where it needs to be and, uh, and then we can kind of work on making motor mounts because I got a, I mean, a little more idea of where everything needs to be. Uh, so as we were setting it all in, nothing was working, everything was in the way and I needed to just take a step back. So that's kind of what today's video is. It's going to be just the reality of this stuff. So what happened is you can see now I finally had the engine about where we need it to, to live. Um, we're gonna work on moving it back a little more, but I've been working on this for like a day, banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out how to make this all work. So the problems we were having is I really wanted to run these cool old Zoomy headers that I got with the Arden heads. They are made for some kind of kick-ass competition, coupe or dragster or whatever. They look great on the car, but in order to get them to fit, the engine needs to sit really high. The other end reason the engine needed to sit really high was the steering box sat right here, lived literally right there. It's a problem with all early Fords and you start messing around with putting bigger engines in them. So uh, the exhaust port comes out like almost vertical right here like vertical and comes straight down and is literally right into the steering box. So the, that required the engine to sit up really high and literally we had our, valve, our rocker covers or valve covers, they were like, they were like getting up here. You could see the side of the oil pan above the frame rail. It was just, it was not working. It looked very cartoony. I do not like that, especially on a street car. I don't like that crazy cartoony look. It's great if it's some kind of all out dragster, but uh, I didn't like the proportions. So what I've been working on is we've been trimming the floor back. So in there I've been working on with the plasma cutter, just slowly trimming the floor back, raising the trans up, sliding it back. And now we got a pretty much enough clearance. I got to trim it a little bit more. Um, I talked to Ron that's doing the engine. He kind of gave me an idea of uh, the crank pulley he's going to be using. And it's one of these truck double pulleys. Unfortunately, this is an early one that the crank um, opening is, is a little smaller. So I grabbed a set of crank, uh, crank, geez, truck water pumps, and it has a double pulley on it. And that kind of tells us where the front pulley is going to end up. Um, you can see we have it lined up on the back with uh, a standard pulley here, and we can see where the front of it's going to be. So we have enough room with this little tray here and the height of the engine. It's just about at the right height. I'd like to push the engine back just a little more to give us some more clearance. Um, so we're going to work on getting motor mounts tacked into this thing today and we're going to work on maybe getting some, uh, some kind of trans mount, even if it's temporary tacked in place today um, in this video. And then we may start looking at the steering. I think I'm going to have to totally redo the steering. I think the steering box is going to end up having to be maybe like back in here somewhere. So I'm going to have to weld up all these holes and drill new holes. Um, it may help us with the length of the steering column because we were, as you guys may remember, the pedals were like needed to be like way in here. So we had to make like a U shape to the pedals or something kind of odd. So this, uh, yeah, we're going totally backwards, but I'm going to work on this thing and we're going to overcome these, uh, these issues and hopefully have an engine sitting in here by the end without a hoist. All right. So we got to do a little more trimming with the plasma cutter here so we can go back a little more. So I'm going to do a little trim job. difference is they would have used the oxyacetylene torch back in the day. Almost near the track. That might be the cheap spot, right? That's all but touching. That's what you want, right? Like, yep, absolutely. My, my uh, 
rough cuts I made ended up being perfect. Pretty much in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes years and years of fucking shit up to figure that out. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, that's the ticket. Just the back of that valve cut. Yep. Like yeah. you said, now you now when somebody looks at it, they know that it took a shit ton of work to get. Right. If you got that valve cover tucked behind the cow, yeah. You was working. I like that. I do too. And and it made the gap here not as big, so from this side, yep. looks, it's almost looks better there too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's where it needs to That's the sweet spot. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> took a day and half a day and a half to get there, but yeah, that looks freaking great. I love that. And we got a lot of room for stack up mm -hmm. for the uh, blower and oh, yeah. all that stuff. Yep. insane from the front <laughs> with the head sticking out around the yeah. grill. Yeah, yeah. Look at that view. That is going to look insane. <laughs> yeah, that does, uh, you can't hide them. No, that, that right there is a statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Oh, that is going to be so badass. <laughs> yeah, but look how much more room we have from the deck. Or from the, you know, from the mm -hmm. back here. Yep. Up to the top of there. Like before, we were like way up here. Yeah. We had to drop it, like I said, six, eight inches or something. That be, yeah. That is just pure badassery right mm -hmm. there. guys we're interrupting this video just to remind you we are doing our live Sunday service I know it's been a little while with our 
Travel schedule, it's been very difficult this Sunday. So you were watching this video on Friday. In a couple days, we are gonna be doing that. It's gonna be from 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to noon, 12 o'clock noon uh, on Sunday. We'll be doing that video and we'll be live. If you guys got any questions, uh, you can do, we're gonna do the live Q&A. And as always, we're gonna give you a walk around, show you some stuff that's going on in the shop that maybe you don't see. We're gonna give a little tour of the upstairs because I've been doing a bunch of work to that. We've all been busy on that. Um, so make sure you check that out. Sunday, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now let's get back to the video. I have to figure out something. But I didn't have a problem with the 30, 30, the red 34, and I had that on the left a bunch of times. Yeah. yeah. I remember the running boards with the ass on it.
so we got the engine and trans finally bolted into the car for I don't know how long since we've had this car. The engine and trans have just been floating on random pieces of metal with vice grips and wood blocks shoved in. So now that everything's sitting level, square, um, we got the engine pushed way back. And this is a good example of how you need to sometimes take a step back and not fight what you were doing before. So I need to do another video on the steering and the pedals, unfortunately, but we got the engine living where it needs to live. We have plenty of room for our drive in the front uh, for the blower and the pulleys and all that stuff. We can actually even get a V-belt on underneath of there, I believe, with next to no, if not any, modifications to the front cross member, which is pretty crazy. And it just looks proportional in the engine bay now. Now, with everything pushed back, um, it takes up the space of the engine bay, and it's not sitting up real high where it looks cartoony. I'm trying to do my best not to uh, create a cartoony car and something that looks aggressive, but also looks like it's well thought out. So um, that is our next update. Um, now we can start working on firewall and getting that built, work on the pedals, the steering, like I mentioned, and actually start making some big progress on this car to uh, get things going and moving towards being like an actual car, which is really exciting. So thank you guys for following, appreciate it. Catch you later.